everyone welcome back so in the previous videos we have assigned the roles to user 2 so user 2 has a billing administrator role and uh, similarly he has global reader so but whereas in the billing administrator he doesn't require any approver whereas for the global administrator he required approver so that is the task one that we have done uh, sorry the exercise one whereas the exercise two we have tested this uh, uh, billing administrator role as well as global reader so for the global reader we have uh, used approver to approve this particular request only then he can access it so we have performed that in task 2 the exercise 2 and coming to the task 3 we'll be using access reviews for the global reader role and uh, we'll be reviewing all these three in this video so let's go ahead and start so talking about the access reviews so basically an access review requires uh, business administrators to review uh, what each user in their system has access to so the process allows a company to keep a track of what information users have the privilege to access so that uh, they can change to revoke access whenever it is necessary and uh, the process is very vital for the information security so that is what uh, we are doing right now so let's go ahead and uh, perform the exercise 3 from the Microsoft Docs. So let's go to the portal and make sure you are in this tenant directory. And uh, in this go to the PIM which is Privileged Identity Management. In this you can see Azure AD roles, click that. And here you can see access reviews. So here you have to create one access reviews. Uh, I have already created one access review. Let me show you how I have done that. So coming to the name, I'm just copying the name from this GitHub. So I'm just copying it and coming to description, you can write whatever you want. Uh, the role of this uh, review name and uh, start it today and you can do it one time. And uh, coming to the role, it is assigned to global reader so you just need to click global reader so select done so you can see the global reader and uh, then you have to select the reviewers in this case that would be me uh, so I'll just select my account and just select yes so you can check the other options too and uh, review the other options and just click start so once it is done you can see the access reviews that I have created so this is the one that is being created so once it is done so let's go to click this one so once you click this you can see a dashboard here where you can see a beautiful graph in which it says not reviewed so there is one assignment which has been not reviewed under the tasks so you can see here review access click that and you can see there is a global reader review click that and you can see there is an entry called uh, user 2 so here you can uh, approve or deny it so if you click here you can uh, deny if you don't want that user to be in this particular role or you can approve it so i would say approve approved user and you can just approve him so if you go back here so if you select the access reviews so if you click this you can see there is one which says not reviewed so once we review it it will be uh, you know vanished and it will be in one of these approved or denied so let's go ahead and do that in this case it would be review access and uh, click this and select this particular user and I would say approved user and I would say approve so I have approved it and uh, yeah once you approve it you can go back and you can check the review Access. it should be vanished you can see 
it has been approved and uh, there is you know not reviewed has become zero so now it changed to green color so this is how we can do it you can see it has been updated and uh, now if we go to the task 2 we will be reviewing the PML summary information and detailed audit information so let's go to the same AD roles and uh, here you can see there is under alerts under manage you can see there is an alerts click that and uh, you can just click this so you can see the different alerts that we have so you can fix them you can just read like uh, what you want to do you can just click them and you can fix it if you want so in this case i'm not doing it you can do it either you can just directly fix it i'm sure you want to resolve this particular selected result you can just click yes it will be done for you so let me go back so there will be you can scan so you can see now we don't have any alerts we have zero alerts right now so that is how we can solve if you want and uh, that is one thing and let me go back and we can check the resource audit here so you can check uh, this is the all operations that we have performed in this particular uh, tenant so we'll be getting all the information here so you can review it what actions have been performed here you can see i have fixed the alert and so on which i have done just just a few seconds ago everything will be recorded so this is one thing and uh, so basically the audit history is available for all privileged roles assignments for activations within the past 30 days and uh, we can retrieve the detailed information including time requester action and resource name scope primary target and subject so you can do it this way and uh, I think that's it for now let me see if I can show you anything else you can see results can click uh, so this is uh, the user 2 you can view the audit logs so this is specifically related to the user 2 so what operations are being performed by this particular user so you can get more information related to that so once this is done make sure you delete uh, all the resources that you have created so for that and use the powershell and uh, I'm using the first operation which I'm seeing in github right now let me go to the powershell okay no valid subscription okay so like right now we don't have any resource group here we have to switch the accounts and we have to delete from there so I hope you guys have understood the concept here. So the concept of access reviews and reviewing the BIM uh, auditing features. So if you have liked the video, please click like button below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys.